It says write the expression for the solubility product constant for strontium sulfate. Mm -hmm. Our first step is going to be to write the equation. Strontium sulfate in equilibrium with, that's your arrow going back and forth. Strontium, which is plus 2, plus sulfate, which is minus 2. <coughs> now, how about our coefficients? This is a 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 ratio. Don't be confused by the 4, the subscript on the sulfate. That's part of a polyatomic ion. And now we're asked for the KSP expression. KSP equal, open your bracket, what? SR plus 2, close your bracket, open your bracket, SO4 minus 2, close your bracket. Since the exponents are 1's, we usually don't put them, and that's because the coefficients are 1. Let's look at the next problem. Write the expression for the solubility product constant for magnesium chloride. Let's write the equation. Magnesium chloride in equilibrium with what? Magnesium, good. Plus 2, plus what? How many chlorines? Two chlorines. Because the formula is MgCl2. So this ratio is what? 1 to what? To 1, 2, 2. Very good. <coughs> so KSP equal, open your bracket, what? I can't hear you, class. MG plus 2, close your bracket. Class. Open your bracket, CL minus, close your bracket. To what power? Two. Two. Very good. Look at the next one. They want the KSP for iron sulfate. Fe, SO4, we start with our equation. In equilibrium with, that's our arrow going back and forth. Equilibrium with Fe, which is plus 2 plus SO4, which is minus 2. What kind of a ratio does this have? 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Be sure you put your coefficients in red, and you should be boxing your answers in in red, your KSP. Your answer is that KSP formula. KSP in this case equals what? Talk to me. I can't hear you. Fe plus 2. Times. Close your bracket. Open your bracket. SO4 minus 2. Close your bracket. And then take your red pen and box in your answer in red since what your problem is asking you for is the KSP expression. Aluminum sulfate. Aluminum sulfate says write the expression for the solubility product constant for aluminum sulfate. Al2, SO4, three of them, since aluminum is plus three and sulfate is minus two, in equilibrium with what? How many aluminums? Two aluminums and how many sulfates? Three. Three. Okay, so aluminum is plus three, sulfates minus two, and our ratio then is one to two, two, three. <coughs> Very good. So KSP will equal. Open your bracket. Class. Plus three. three. Close your bracket to what power? Two. Open your bracket. SO4. SO4. Minus two. Minus two. Close your bracket to what power? 
What's the coefficient? Three. To what power? Three. Okay. I'm going to take your red pen. Box your answer in, in red. Okay. One through ten continues KSP. Eleven through sixteen actually works problems. So let's take a look at sixteen, because I want you to do this tonight. Let's take a look at sixteen and see how to work it. This is a full-on problem, complete with values. At 25 degrees Celsius, the concentration of calcium ions in a saturated solution of calcium sulfate is 4.9 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. What's the value of KSP for calcium sulfate? We start with the equation. Calcium sulfate in equilibrium with, there's your double arrow, calcium plus 2 plus sulfate minus 2. KSP equal, well, first of all, what's your coefficient? One, class, one, two, one, two, one. You have one calcium and one sulfate in calcium sulfate. So KSP equal, open your bracket, what? Calcium times what? Plus 2, close your bracket, open your bracket, SO4, minus 2, close your bracket. The, co the coefficients are each one, so the exponents each be one. Now let's plug in our values. KSP equal, open parentheses. If the concentration of calcium sulfate is 4.9 times 10 to the minus 3 molar, and it's a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio, you have to get exactly the same concentration of calcium and also sulfate. The concentration of calcium will be what? 4.9 times 10 to the minus 3. And the concentration of sulfate will also be 4.9 times 10 to the minus 3. Just roughing it in, since it's almost 5, it'd be about 25 times 10 to the minus 6, or in good scientific notation, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5, right? Right. Roughly. Well, Probably a little under. Yeah. 2.5 to 10 to the minus 5. Well, roughly. You got about 5. 5, five times 5 is 25, right? See. 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the minus 3 is 10 to the minus 6. Since when we multiply exponents, we add them. To put it in good scientific notation, however, we make this smaller, we make this bigger, which brings it closer to the decimal. And don't forget to box your answer in in red.